Hi, and welcome to video lecture four. Um, the first, this is the first module of video lecture four. Now, in the previous video lecture, we talked all about derivatives, what they were, the intuition behind them, and the definition of the derivative. Right? To remind you, the derivative is in some sense just the slope of a function. It tells you the rate of change of a function at a point, and the key concept to know about the derivative is that it, it tells you the instantaneous rate of change. That is, the rate of change at a particular point on a function may be continuous. And that way it could be really useful because it tells you how the function is changing at every point. Now in the previous video lecture, we computed some simple derivatives based on the definition itself of the derivative. And that was fine. And in theory, you, you could do all derivatives that way, but it would take you a lot of time. And in political science, um, and economics, and sociology, and so on, you need to be able to calculate more complicated derivatives and not spend five years at it. Um, now you can go to the computer and have it do it for you, and that's good in some context, but it actually loses a bunch of the intuition that you can get by doing it yourself. So what we're gonna do in this video lecture is learn how to do it ourselves. Now here's a point um, in any math class that a lot of people who, don't, who haven't liked math in the past tend to kind of, kind of worried about, right? It's kind of scary. You're gonna be computing derivatives by yourself. Um, and there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on that seems like it's all kind of haphazard. And a lot of that is due to how typically people learn derivatives as some list of sort of unconnected rules that don't seem to make much sense. Um, you have to memorize these rules and use them in the appropriate places and people don't know when to use them and so on. And so it seems like it's a really unpleasant thing. So the goal of this lecture is to go through and learn some of these rules and learn how to compute some reasonably complicated derivatives without it being kind of frightening. <laughs> right. So what we're going to do over the next few mod bunch of modules is introduce alternating um, simple derivatives. We're going to learn the derivative of a simple polynomial, then the derivative of an exponential function, and the derivative of a logarithm. And those three will cover pretty much most of the things you're going to deal with in in um, social sciences. And then at the same time, alternating, we're going to be looking at three rules. Derivative is a linear operator, um, the chain rule, and the product rule. And the product rule is the same as the quotient rule, so we're only looking at that once. And that's going to be it. At the end of this lecture, we're going to put those together and go through some examples to see exactly how to use them to break up any derivative, any complicated derivative, into smaller ones that are very intuitive and you can do pretty simply. And that's pretty much it. And the goal of all this, again, is going to be to reduce some of the fear that's usually associated with calculus to make it seem more natural, intuitive, and to make it more of a useful thing that you can do, a useful tool for you. Um, and that's pretty much it. So that's into this module. It's a very short one, just to give you a sense of what's going to come. In the next module, we're going to start in the first rule, the derivative is a linear operator. And that'll help us take derivatives of polynomials. Thank you, and see you soon.